I've been going on a deep dive into discovering more Lolita indie brands because I've made a lot of content about Angelic Pretty and Baby the Star Shine Bright and I'm still going to make a lot of content on Angelic Pretty and Baby the Star Shine Bright but there are so many other options now as well. There are a ton of Lolita independent brands that have varying sizes and different designs that are very unique. While looking through different independent brands and different unique and individual designs, I discovered Girly Gang by The Angelic Forest. It's very, very cool. It's not exactly me, but it's very, very cool. I have shared this dress quite a few times in this release because I think that it's really important to share indie brands and share their releases because they're often made in smaller quantities because they are run by smaller groups of people. Literally, the angelic forest has been one person for the longest time. Now they have additional help, but it's good when they are doing these batches of releases and pre-orders that you grab them when you can or else it's gonna be probably a long time or you may miss out entirely if you don't get it when it's released. Whereas like, the same can be said for other Lolita fashion with more mainstream brands because they still do limited release, but it's more likely that you'll see, there's still larger quantities in indie brands and it's more likely that they will release re-release them or that you will see them in like lace market and secondhand places. This is why it's really important to follow indie brands on social media. Follow the Angelic Force on social media. That way you can see when they post their pieces and when they're going to be available. This worked out perfectly. The girly gang dress is going to be available through pre-order again as of right now until I don't know exactly what date, but for two weeks. So this is going to be available from June 25th for two weeks. I really want to see this dress styled in like a scene fashion way. Okay. <laughs> I really want it to happen. I would do it myself, but I don't have any of the pieces for it. And I need to be more realistic with my Lolita fashion because I am running out of room. If you want to see my Lolita wardrobe, situation, the ways that I have to store all of my Lolita pieces. I made a video on Patreon all about it. You can see the sheer chaos. I'm trying to just get pieces that are very versatile with the things that I already own and unfortunately this dress doesn't really work with my other pieces and if I were to get like a wig and accessories and stuff it wouldn't really go but if anyone out there has like a VK wig or like an extra cosplay wig just lying around uh, that they could cut up or if you have like a mullet style haircut that you could style in a scene way people who also have like rave gear or like candy and stuff like that if you could I'll put together something on style book some kind of like idea for this court I would love to see this if enough people do it It'd be fun to even like react to your scene coordinates I just think that this is the absolute perfect quintessential dress for this and you could live out that teenage nostalgia. Oh, I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> Demand it. If you decide to get girly gang and style it in a scene way or any kind of interesting fun way and are comfortable with me showing in videos or talking about it, please tag your posts with lovely lore video. So I guess by me just talking about how cool this dress is, the angelic forest got a lot of sales of it and wanted to thank me for that, which was so kind and they totally did not have to do, but I'm really glad because now I have the opportunity to talk about them more and to style one of their pieces. They offered to send me one of their dresses from the dreamy strawberry dessert line which I am familiar with the print. It's very cute. It's more in line with things that I own that I can style, but I intentionally didn't look at it after they mentioned sending it to me because I wanted to have a little bit of an element of surprise. I'm not sure exactly what the cut looks like and I don't know what colorway they have sent me. This package came extremely fast. I was not expecting this for like a month or so and it came in like a few days from uh, the US to Canada, which is pretty good. And from the other side of the US too. Wild. Whoa! <laughs> There's a postcard that just went like sliding, like slid across <laughs> the room and I cannot get to, oh no. 
Ooh, it looks like it's pink and mint, I think. Ooh. Wait, there's black? I'm so... <laughs> I opened it. I was like, wait. What? <laughs> I was like, is this dress like split in half? No, there's there's two things in here. Hold on. What the f***? <laughs> wait, there's wrist cuffs. Oh my gosh, these wrist cuffs are so cute. Wait, I was not expecting this. Holy... These are some good wrist cuffs. I really always need wrist cuffs. I have been using the same like three pairs that I've gotten off Etsy from like 10 years ago. <laughs> and these are some good quality wrist cuffs. I feel like that's a department that like is kind of missing in the Lolita indie brand world. There's only a few places that make them. And so I don't, I've never noticed that she sells these. And yeah, there's mushrooms on the lace. Oh my gosh, people are going to go crazy for that. <laughs> that is adorable. I want to see this, but I'm also like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, it's a skirt. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks really like stretchy and comfy. <gasps> oh, Holly's going to steal this. I don't know if she meant to send this for me or Holly, but Holly is definitely going to steal this. It's a skull. Yeah, it's like a gnar... It's a narwhal skull? It's a skull of some sort. I think it's a narwhal skull. And then these candles are so pretty. Yo, this looks really like comfy and sturdy as heck. There are pockets? There's, well, there's a pocket. I don't know if there's, is there two pockets? There's two pockets. <laughs> This is so cool. <laughs> Even though I know Holly will steal this, we share um, a wardrobe, so I can always steal it back. This is really cute. Thank you so much. I wanna get Holly's reaction, but she's probably not gonna wanna be on camera today. It's like a rest day for her, but I know she's gonna scream. This is a head bow, which is really cute, and you can totally use, I could wear this right now. This. I love head bows that can be worn in multiple different ways with other pieces. Like, it definitely matches this perfectly, but I could wear this with a lot of other things too. <laughs> oh my gosh, the back bow is really cute. I like this. Oh, oh my gosh. This is a good, this is, this is good sh I like this material. I don't know what material this is, because I'm bad. I should know at this point. The straps have snaps, so this is really nice. There's three different snaps, and you could do it like regular, or you could really cross it if you wanted to. And this is perfect for both shorter and taller Lolitas, because you could extend it or you could make it smaller. That is really smart. I don't know why more brands don't do this. They're like snap-on straps. This shirring looks really forgiving and really comfortable. I love this little acrylic like strawberry drink on there. That is so cute. I haven't even talked about the print yet and the print is absolutely adorable. Totally like versatile with what I have. This would be great in like a sweet style, but also I could see this styled in like a country way. I really like this bow situation. I hate waist ties because for a very long time I worked a job that I wore an apron and my waist ties for my apron would get stuck on doorknobs, people would untie them, tie me to things, it was very annoying. So in Lolita I always take them off because I don't want it to get stuck on things. But this is like a solid bow that is just attached to it and I'm, yeah you can remove it with like a safety pin and it's nice that it's just there instead of having to be tied and then also you don't have to worry about tying your waist ties if you're alone and don't have someone to help you or if you're not very well versed in tying and same with the front bow that's really nice too that you can remove either of these bows so you could try wearing this with a belt i definitely have a belt that would look cute with this we're gonna give her a good steam because she's gotten some wrinkles in shipping which is to be expected and then we're gonna put this on and style it and i'm so excited I ended up coming up with four different coordinates for this dress. Right now I'm kind of going for like a more 
traditionally Lolita look with just a Peter Pan collar. I put the back bow on the front of the dress just to see how that looks. I'm loving the fact that you can move the bows around. That gives you a lot of different fun options. In one of my coordinates, I put the bow on the side. While I show you my different looks using this piece, I wanted to tell you more about the Angelic Forest as a brand. The Angelic Forest consists of one person, Ash, who started her brand back in 2015 by selling accessories she made on Etsy. Ash made her first main piece, which was a skirt of this print, back in 2018 and has since been focusing more of her brand on main pieces and her mission is to bring quality Lolita pieces to people of all different sizes. Ash currently has three size options available as well as custom sizing for an additional fee. It's incredible to think that one person has been behind this brand creating everything from the prints to the patterns to actually sewing them. The Angelic Forest in its heart is a sweet Lolita brand, but she is branching out into more gothic Lolita styles with her unicorn seance and gothic rose prints. She wants to explore more gothic styles in the future. The Angelic Forest also likes to experiment with motifs that aren't normally seen in Sweet Lolita, like Girly Gang, for example, has brass knuckles and switchblades. And she also plans to have a release in the future with mushrooms, which I know is gonna be really cute. And I know that there are a lot of people out there who love wearing mushrooms on their clothing, love cute mushrooms. The Angelic Forest, or Ash had some difficulty in 2020 completing a large number of orders for one person to do alone. Though she was able to get through it, she is now planning to team up with six women who are local seamstresses in the future for making more of her dresses. Hopefully she'll be able to make more products and expand more. You can buy these pieces from their website. The Angelic Forest is based in Salem, Oregon, so everything will ship from the United States. They have one planned con right now, which is Kumori Con in Oregon. I really want to see the Angelic Forest thrive and grow. I can't wait to see what new, cool, and unique designs they come up with moving forward. I would love to see them at a convention one day. I hope that that happens. Thank you so much for sending me these pieces, Ash. I am going to cherish them. Wishing you all the best.